If climate is a problem, we need the most solution per dollar and the most solution per year. If you buy a slow, expensive option, nuclear for example, you're actually reducing and retarding climate protection because you get so much less solution per dollar and per year from an expensive, slow option than you would from quick, cheap ones, efficiency, uh, renewables, cogeneration, that are actually winning in the market because they're cheaper. So I think it's important to remember that energy policy, climate policy, is not like a Chinese restaurant menu where you order one item from column A and one from column B and keep going until you've gone through the menu and everybody's happy. Uh, because you don't need everything, you can't afford everything, you only have appetite for one dinner. If you spend your money on, on some exotic delicacy, you may not have enough for rice and go away hungry. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, some options actually exclude others because you can't spend the same money and time doing two different things simultaneously. Every, every choice you make forecloses other choices, so we need to invest judiciously, not indiscriminately, uh, to find the most cost-effective and time-effective solutions. Uh, that is what the market tends to do if you let it. And uh, I think, therefore, the best route to a safer, uh, cooler, fairer, richer world would be to let all ways to save or produce energy compete fairly at honest prices, regardless of which kind they are, what technology they use, where they are, how big they are, or who owns them. And let's see who's not in favor of that. <laughs>